What is the number one reason, in your opinion, that turbos uh, fail? Um, it's most probably lack of service because the one thing a turbo always wants is nice, good, clean oil. Sure. And manufacturers have these long service intervals on cars, which they do because when they're new, they give you a 15,000 kilometer service yep. interval. That means under warranty, they give you, let's say, a 60,000 kilometer service plan. They only have to do four services. If they do it every 10,000 Ks, way better. That's six, six services. It costs them more. So, one of the biggest problems with turbo failure is, of course, uh, lack of oil changes. But for me, it's something else. Driving driver out, abuse. Hey? Yeah, driver abuse. You're People driving drive on like the highway mm. to Bloemfontein, to mm. Pretoria, driving at 120, 130. That turbo is spinning at anything up to 200,000 revolutions per minute. Mm -hmm. A turbo works hard. Mm. A guy pulls into the Shell Ultra City. He's just been driving at 140, driving hard. What does he do? Switches it off. That turbo is boiling. Mm. You get home, you get to the garage, let it idle for 30 seconds, okay? We've got turbos on Mercedes Sprinters buses, mm. 50, 60, 70,000 kilos, turbo's gone. Same vehicle, three, 400,000 kilos. Turbo, not giving a day's trouble. How do you uh, compare those mm. two? But you understand what happens when, when you switch the car off? You get a thing called heat soak. So when you switch something off that's hot, it will actually get hotter before it starts to cool down. Correct. Mm. So, so what happens, the turbocharger actually absorbs the heat when it's switched off because there's no coolant going through it to cool it down. There's no air flowing. Mm. So the temperature rises and then it starts to fall down. So when it rises, it boils the oil because the oil is now so hot inside the turbocharger that lubricates the turbocharger and it starts to crystallize and eventually the oil feed to it gets blocked up. There's not enough oil going through. It doesn't get lubricated properly. It doesn't get cooled properly and it fails. Modern day turbochargers are good. A lot of them are good for 200,000 Ks, but some are 50, 60,000 Ks. But now something yeah. interesting as well, cost of a turbocharger repair is not quite as high as some people think it is. What yeah. would it cost to do it cost effectively, not to the BMW agent? Average, average um, turbocharger nowadays, if it's a single turbocharged car, you're looking in the region, depending, varies from car to car, but an average would be about 15,000 range. Okay. Now that is not cheap. But that is not, not an engine overall. If you buy a new turbocharger from the dealer, oh, yeah. you can quadruple that. Yeah, double it, quadruple it, whatever Ooh. you like. Yeah, it can be very wow. expensive. When you want to change cars, visit changecars.co.za.